Sarah Ann Otten's murder should have never happened. A college student was invited to take spring break going down to Mexico, March 1973, with some friends, but she declined that offer and decided to hang back in the dorms and spend her spring break at the University of Iowa to catch up on schoolwork. And for a few days, it seemed like a rather mundane spring break on campus, but March 13th, two other students who stayed back in a dorm noticed something very strange as they walked down the hall. Otten's door was left wide open. The curious college kids went and had a look for themselves, see what was going on, and they made a horrific discovery. They saw the lifeless body of Sarah Ann on the floor, strangled to death, and covered hastily with a bed sheet. The students called the cops, who rushed in and began to investigate. Soon, police had a suspect in their sights. Former University of Iowa football player James Hall. Hall was charged with murder, tried, and convicted in the case. He was sent to jail and expected to live out the rest of his life there. But from the start of the prison sentence, something was wrong. Defense attorneys appealed that the verdict and found prosecutors withheld key evidence at Hall's trial. Prosecutors also claimed during the trial that Hall's fingerprints were found at the scene, but never entered the evidence into the court to prove it. Police detectives also came under fire for lying about how the witness supposedly picked Hall out of the police lineup, even though they had it. Those shady courtroom annex prompted a judge to throw out Hall's conviction, and after a protracted legal battle, Hall was released from jail in 1983. The next year, an Iowa grand jury declined to reindict him on that murder charge. He walked free and even came away with $60,000 richer thanks to a lawsuit that was filed by the prosecutor's office. Otten's killer was never brought to justice. Hall's story didn't end there, though. Less than a decade later, in 1993, he was tried and convicted of the 1992 murder of a Cedar Rapids woman and was sentenced to life again in prison. 